on Wednesday night, Chelsea take on Barcelona as they try and earn a place in the quarter-finals of the Champions League. The sides are level after the first leg at Stamford Bridge with Lionel Messi breaking his duck against the Blues. Antonio Conte doesn't have to guide his team to a win at the new Camp, but his side must breach the Catalan defence to stand any chance of progression. Our friends at Football Whispers have looked ahead to the huge fixture and pick out five ways Chelsea can pull off a miracle against the Spanish giants. Fill the midfield when they beat Atletico Madrid 2 1 at the Vicente Calderon. The Italian coach played 3 4 3 and it worked to great success. However, this was against the La Liga sides 4 4 2. Playing the same way in the second leg would be playing into the hands of the home side. However, going to 3 5 2, Wingolo Kante leading the way, would help the Blues better match up against the Barker midfield. Winning the ball high up the pitch and stopping the home side from dominating huge chunks of possession would help get a foothold in the match. Hazard coming deep Eden Hazard is Chelsea's best player. To have any chance of coming out on top on Wednesday. The Belgian needs to be involved more than anyone else in their starting lineup. However, where Conte plays him will be key. After Chelsea's 1-0 loss to Manchester City, Hazard said I had the feeling that I'd ran, but that I hadn't played a game of football. That's a pity. We could have played on for three hours, but I wouldn't touch a ball. It only went better at the end of the game. Getting the 27-year-old in possession between the defence and midfield, gives him the best opportunity to ask questions of the Barker defence. When you need to score goals, you can't frustrate your most exciting player. Score on the break although they have to score to have a chance of progressing, it would be very foolish for Conti to go gung-ho and try to play on the front foot. Their best chance of success is playing on the counter, much like the famous Fernando Torres goal in the same stadium which sealed the Blues place in the 2012 final. Barcelona are going to dominate possession, you can't fight it, allowing them to have the ball and look for opportunities on the break is the best approach. With someone like Kante winning the ball with his usual ferociousness, and wing backs who can provide a threat in the final third. The Blues have all the tools to win the tie without controlling the ball. Attacking wing backs as difficult as it may be, when opportunity presents itself at the new camp, both full backs need to attack the Barcelona defence. In doing so, they will force defenders to retreat, pushing them back into their own half. Valverde's side rely on the width coming from both the left and right back. Attacking them will keep the Spanish side narrow and give Chelsea a chance to protect the back three. Confidence in Spain as well as only conceding two goals over the eight home games they have played in 2018. Barcelona have also scored 20 goals. They are an incredibly tough team to stop, but Conti has a decent record in Spain. This is the Italian's first visit to the new camp and his game against Barca in the first leg was his first against the famous club. The former Juventus coach must be confident though and play with his head up high. Last time he was in the country, although he needed a late goal to beat Atletico.